these city streets like music on a sheet with buildings like courts how the melody soared before we lost the beat a series of tired rhymes clinging to father time statues tinted with rust aching covered in dust but there's just enough left to shine we still have a song to sing it has seen much better days But we cling to the story and its former glory Yes, there's still a song to sing How sweet it could be With you You don't look like your picture. The lighting's different out here. <laughs> so, how does this work? 20 to see it, 50 to touch. 50? That's what I said. <laughs> oh, please, please, I want to touch it. Fine, fine. Ah, 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 ah. I want to see it first. Why? To make sure it's real. Believe me. It's real. Like your headshot was real? Ooh, very. Back at my place. Oh, sorry, I messed up here. Stand. Excellence in theater. Oh, I watched you win this on TV. Oh, it's like looking into the eyes of God. What do you say? 500? What, to buy it? Oh, really? Oh, Grant, oh, you are so sweet. I'm negotiating quiet. He wants me to be quiet. It's not for sale. <laughs> A thousand. <laughs> Shh. Jack, you obviously need the money. And I need an anniversary gift for my husband. Oh, you remember. How can I forget? Why don't you say we help each other out, hmm? Two grand. Oh, that's two thousand dollars. He knows what it is. And two grand. I feel dirty. Yeah, I'll use the money to buy some disinfectant, hmm? You happy? Oh, Grant, I could float home. That's great. Oh. Don't ever get married. Yeah. When will we see another Cosmo production? <laughs> Never. Jeez, that hurt. Told you. Oh. Yeah, you know, 
We should wear gloves when we do this. I don't know. Wearing gloves could make us look stupid. But then, that oh! wouldn't hurt so much. Honestly, I think I chipped a knuckle. Anyway, I'm going to talk to my father about those gloves. What's the matter, Jack? You OK, man? We're not trying to kill you or nothing. I'm just trying to prove a point about the gloves. I'm alive. Well, good, good. This is where you live, huh? Hey, what do you think when you look around this apartment? Credit risk. Credit risk, exactly. Now, you see, if my father would listen to me when we talk these things over, I wouldn't have to chip my knuckle on your face, Jack. Wait, I got I got a payment. I got a payment here. Look, I got two. I got two. You got two G's? Tim, what's that joke about that slut you went to high school with? Like throwing a hot dog down a hallway? <laughs> That's the one. But Jack, two G's is like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Two G's is like three months ago. Just take it. I'll get you more. And if you fine gentlemen are interested in an original Grammy, I could cut you a deal. Oh! Oh! Now, you see, kicking doesn't hurt much at all. From now on, I'm a kicker. Note it. Note it, boss. Now, uh, Jack, you see, it was up to me. I will put two bullets in the back of your head, especially because I got this handy new silencer, which I'm dying to try out, you know, because I'm wondering if it's going to sound like the one in the movies. <laughs> but it's not up to me. It's up to my father. And my father this is... Old-fashioned? Well, I was going to say senile, but that works, too. You see, my father's the kind of guy who likes to look a man in the eyes while the hired help crashes his brain in with a brick. It's quaint, really. Anyway, come on, get him up. Let's get out of here. Wait, 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 no, I, I need to ask you something. Do you know what I did before this? Yeah, you were a degenerate gambler. No, before that. Never crossed my mind. I was a director. Fancy that. And before that, I was a choreographer. <laughs> you mean like a fufu guy? I wasn't expecting that. I'll tell you one thing, the guy is limber. Hey, 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 put the guns down. I got something more fun. Jack. Sarah. Sarah, I, I don't have a lot of time. Oh, you're dying. Again. I just wanted you to know that I, that I... Hey, director, drop it. Oh! Give me another one. Oh, you got to adjust for the wind, boss. No, we're going about this all wrong. Thank you, Uncle Sal. Is he dead? He's not dead. He's damaged, but not dead. See, I don't like to get to know you. It makes it messy. I prefer it when you are just a number, not a someone. But you took it upon yourself to become a someone with 130 large debt and your bookie, that moron, my nephew. He was stupid enough to let the debt get to that point. You know what I done to him? I'm still a little nauseous from that concussion, so it's really gross. Please don't tell me. I cut off his big toes. Oh, hell! Oh, <laughs> man! 
<laughs> Don't throw up on my rug. That's an $11,000 rug. I took it off a cripple who loved lap dances in one of my clubs. I could never figure out how the deck got so large. He couldn't feel anything. Sorry. It's a sin to judge. Anyway, after we drowned him, I kept the chair. You never felt so comfortable. That's sick. I have a standing policy. For 25000 I break your arms. For 50,000, I break your legs. For 100,000, I do something really awful. But a number like yours, 130 large, I gotta come up with something spectacular here. If you kill me, you'll never get your money back. I got plenty of money. What I don't have is entertainment. You're my entertainment. What's your name? You said I was just a number. It's uh, Cosmo, boss. Jack Cosmo. Jack Cosmo? I don't believe it. I'm Jack Cosmo. Jack Cosmo's running up a debt with me for nine months and none of you morons tell me? I can't believe it, you're Jack Cosmo. I'm sorry, do you know me? <laughs> I love you, Betty. You're the radishes in my chicken soup. Huh? Candy-colored glasses. Candy-colored glasses. I was there opening night. I was there the night after. I conceived my daughter listening to your soundtrack. She's fat and has a hunchback. I don't blame you. Uh, I'm, I'm glad uh, it worked out. I would like to shake your hand. Untie this man, you morons. Your music and your words saved me. At a time when I didn't know what I wanted out of life. Really? Yeah. And you chose this? I owe everything to you. Everything. Well, I don't, yeah. don't know what to say. I... You ought to sit down. Yeah. Now, I want you to know that the 130 Lodge is paid. Done. I can't take money from you. I ought to be paying you. Gregory. Give him everything you got in your pocket. That's not really necessary. You, you... Really? Lemon flavored. They stopped making those four years ago. Shocker. Just forgiving the debt is more than enough. Where did you go? I mean, it's been 10 years, right, since the last production? Show business makes what you do for a living seem like daycare. <laughs> you know, that's funny. America needs that line. So I'm clear, uh, free to go. 
Jack Cosmo. You can just grab some breakfast, go back to my place. I'll, I'll just... Jack Cosmo! I, I, I'm sorry, is there something that you're trying to tell me? I have in mind an idea for a show. Oh, God. Damn. Uh, I, why don't we get together next week? We'll talk about it. And you, I'd be happy, love to hear it, but right now I'll just kind of... See, it's about a guy. That's a great start. He's a drunk, a problem drinker, but funny. Alcoholism is hysterical. Yeah. Now one day he gets bunked on the head. He enters into this dream state in the second act. Okay. And he finds out that he is addicted to... Alcohol. Candy. Candy? Yeah. See, candy is the metaphor for alcohol. Ah. And in the dream state, he learns about himself. Why he is an alcoholic. Candyholic. Ca yeah, candyholic. And when he wakes up, he's healed. He is no longer an alcohol candyholic. It's a pretty powerful dream. The most powerfulest. You know what we're gonna call it? How sweet it is! Like candy. Exactly! <laughs> that is wonderful. You think? Yeah, do I think, guys? It's just not a great idea. Everybody loves stories about candy. I love Skittles. I'm glad you like it. I do. Because I want you to make it. I, I, I'm sorry? Yeah, you're gonna produce and write and direct my show. This is gonna be your comeback. I'm gonna finance it myself. Where are we gonna stage this thing? I just took a strip club off a woman who couldn't pay me back the money I lent her for her husband's penile surgery. We got the theater, we got the money, we got the writer, producer, director, and according to you, we got a really great idea. So Jack, what do you say? Are you gonna help me make my dream a reality? Big Mike, may I call you Big Mike? I would be honored. I am so flattered that you would trust me with this brilliant idea of yours. Yeah, but about 10 years ago, I made a vow to myself that I would never, ever go back to the world of musical theater, no matter how enticing the offer. And I, I, I can't go back on my word, Big Mike. Not now, not ever. Well, if you don't do it, I'm gonna kill you. When do we start? The Cicero surveillance? Mm hmm. Hey guys. Ah. Well, looks like the newbie wants to hang with the big boys. Hey, hey Barry, I thought we uh, agreed that there would be no shouting in the office. Yeah, we got against the newbies anyway. We made him spill his coffee. Thanks. You need a hand with those? Uh, no, no, no. I bought this for you guys. Thank you. It's Big Mike. Yeah, we're not really sure what happened. He was supposed to meet up with Agent Rogers and the Caymans to make a deal, but then he just suddenly called it off. Ben, good agent, great guy. Where's an ascot? Kind of weird. Wally, judgmental. We think it has something to do with this man, but so far we haven't been able to identify him. <laughs> That's Jack Cosmo. Who? It's Jack Cosmo. The Broadway producer. Oh, come on. Candy-colored glasses, three for the dirt road, the CMO. Well, ten years ago, this guy was huge. So what? Ten years ago, my wife didn't look like her mother. Hey, how do you even know about this guy? Minor to musical theater in college. Really? Hmm. What did you major in? Crying in the shower? <laughs> but what would Big Mike want with him? Well, that I do not know. You know, it'd be helpful if we can get somebody in that theater. This is beautiful. There's a room over there with a card in it. So here's 
the plan. You cast it in the daytime and you write it at night and we open in three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah, it's my birthday, the big seven four. Oh, listen, big Mike. Can I... you think of a better birthday present for me than your beautiful new musical? Hey, Dad, what about the grill I give you, huh? My grill. The grill, you love it, you said you love it. There's a light on the side so you can cook at night and everything. I am the head of a mafia organization with three slip discs and a persistent smoke allergy. How much night grilling do you think I'm gonna do? Kids, so we set a new musical in three weeks. Mike, with all due respect. Ah, ah, look over here. This here is the stage. Come here, go up here. Let me show you. This is where all our dreams are born, am I right? And you, you're Jack Cosmo. You're a genius. With your words and music, you take away all the nonsense and mundanities of this quotidian life that we are forced to endure. You do that with your words and your music. What do I do? I break kneecaps and collect coins. Anyway, I've done most of the work for you already. How's that? Uh, I was thinking, a lot of people owe me money. Now that is a lot of arm breaking and a whole lot of fuss. See, Gregory's already got the carpal tunnel. So, I says, why make extra work for myself? If I made a Broadway decision, all the guys who owe me money got to do a job in this show. And then we'll be all paid up and everybody's happy. Except me. You want me to write and direct an original musical using deadbeats and criminals? Did I tell you, is that or is that not a succinct summation of the situation? Did I tell you? Oh, yeah, yeah. what did you say? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm off. Well, Mike, wait, you're leaving? Yeah. I want to be surprised. Besides, the boys are going to get you everything you need. Oh, sure. Oh, well, sure, boss. Whatever, whatever you need. And then I'll cut his heart out. They're staying with me? 24-7. You think of them as your left hand and your right hand. And let me tell you something. I want to be wowed. You're raising the bar kind of high. I didn't spare your life because you were medium talent. Don't disappoint me. Have fun, people. Do you believe that guy? We are this close to closing the deal. He has the goal to give me attitude. You know I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> it's Korean, Jenny. 21st century. You know, you speak it at a Korean restaurant, they will give you the uninfected food. Uninfected? I'm joking. I have the CVs. You should learn. Oh, that's really unnecessary. Musun mal. Abnal anarupe wayaji. Calls during lunch. Uh, Robert asked to push the meeting till 4. Your cable guy will be at your place between 8 and 5 p.m. on Saturday. Nice of them to give me a nine hour window. And your father called. My father called here? Yeah. You were on a conference call to Korea. You said no calls. I did. What did he say? He said, I'm not dead yet, call sometime. And then he left his number. You want me to get him on the line for you? No. I'll just leave this right here. Thank you. Hi. Father called last night. I haven't heard from him in years, and he calls me all of a sudden out of the blue because he needs something. He always calls me when he needs something. He only calls me when he needs something. But, I, you know, I don't know. This time it felt like, it felt different, like he really, really needed me. And I always said I would never forgive him until he asked for it, but, I mean, I don't know, he's my father, you know? What do you think? Uh... You're right. You're right. You're right. I have to keep it up here, not down here. It's just, 
it's hard sometimes, you know? <sighs> Thanks, Doc, this really helped. You're not one of my patients. No, I just needed to vent. Do you want to make an appointment? Or? I'm good, thanks. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> you ready? Mike is going to forgive all our debts, right? Okay. Ah! Oh, no! This is cool. You, you're going to like this. Ah! Oh. Look at the love of God. Help me. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Oh, it's a oh, oh, trick. Speak up, please. Hello. Are we doing a song? One by one, they're all turning their faces. Your book of love is missing pages. She want of yours? Yeah, she had to borrow money from lawyers. There. She used to be a teacher. Lawyers. She punched a kid. She punched a kid? Rage issues. You think? So, uh, no pile? Make her a maybe. Hmm. Oh, Clifton Thompson, he owes us for drugs. <laughs> you could have fooled me. I would have guessed tax evasion. No, drugs. Uh, Clifton? Clifton back here? It's you. I thought you were my dead mother's mole for a second. Uh, I will be performing a little number I wrote called, Please Give Me 50 Bucks So I Can Buy Crack. Fantastic. My name is Clifton and I live down the block. I used to have a house, but now I have a box. I may be in debt, but I'll pay it back. But first, give me 50 bucks so I can buy crack. Ooh, that would be a very, very, very nice thing for you to do. Because my insides are beginning to sting And it hurts when the other junkies laugh at me Because I got my drugs from a crime family They say that I'm a dead man, I'm really worried Please give me 50 bucks so I can buy crack I swear that it's good for my voice. I used to work 
at the bank But I got laid off and I thought about dying Yes, he did Until I discovered that happiness is a crack rock fry And oh, I've got the itches, the shakes and the burns And that's cause I'm missing a fix There's only one solution Fifty bucks will do the trick or whatever you got. He gets a yes from me. A uh, great clip to thank you. Thank you very much. My resume has my latest contact info. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, great, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jody Greenberg. Dirty pharmacist on the payroll. What do you get for you guys? The uh, boss runs a chop shop down by the piers. He was helping us with that. The pharmacist helps you with cars? A uh, chop shop, an uh, illegal sex change clinic. He was getting us the bad estrogen. You have not lived until you've seen half a dozen angry pre-op trannies. OK, uh, Jody, what do you got for us? I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it! It breaks my heart that you're running away from your problem. You hold a good will, Amina. That's right. Mama's coming for your ass. Uh, the estrogen, it was good, I swear. Does this sound like a voice of good estrogen? Oh, what the hell is going on here, huh? Guys! Oh, whoa. Hey, hey, oh! Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! This is a disgrace. You are a disgrace. I respect this state so much it kills me to watch one idiot after another just defecate on it. Um, does that mean I don't get the part? Well, actually, you were pretty good. Mike, I've had it. I don't care what you do to me. I don't care what your father does to me. I am out of here. Jack, I've been waiting all morning to hear that. You've been waiting to hear that all morning, Jack. You know what? I don't care anymore, Mike. I can't take it. The only thing I've ever loved is being massacred here. Why can't I just find one normal, talented person? Building. Pressure is building. Unfolding likes and twisted cabaret. You had a bedroom for two, and dinner waiting for you. It's everything I hope to have someday. Memories, moments of sweetness can ease your mind. But family, a sense of completeness is hard to find. It's time to take your walls down. It's time to take your walls down. Wow. Walls. Candy Color Glasses is my favorite show. I'm Jack Cosmo. Yes, I know who you are. I'm Ethan. I haven't heard a voice like that since Patrick Stoner. The lead of Candy Color Glasses? I'm not that good. You are. You are that good. Hey, 
we doing this or what? Mike, the musical now has a voice. What is that, a fortune cookie? Gregory, where are you? I'm gonna send you a list of everything I need. Need for what? Writing. Okay, guys, I've been um, working all night, but um, here they are, and you know what, um, let's not worry about staging or, you know, blocking or harmony, let's just do it uh, nice and loose, okay? My life sucks and I can't write. I get drunk on chocolate every night. And by chocolate, I mean booze. What the hell? I got nothing to lose. How sweet it is. How sweet it is. How sweet it is. How sweet it is. I own a factory. It's like a metaphor. How sweet it is. Piece of shit. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. Jack. That is the greatest music I have ever heard! Ah! I thought my mother could drink. You know, I don't know much about musical theater, but I'm pretty sure that a song is not supposed to make my insides hurt. <laughs> Hey, Mike, that's bad. It's like watching a slow kid falling down a flight of steps. <laughs> hey, who cares? The quicker that asshole screws up, the quicker he's dead, and we can get back to doing what we love. Organic farming? Interior decorating? Kicking ass. Gee, sometimes you guys are embarrassing. Listen, I say we just let him fail. But, Mike, your father. What about him? It was his stupid idea. There's nothing special about Jack Cosmo. He should have known better. Is this about the grill? No, it's not about the grill. Mike. All right, maybe it's about the grill, but it doesn't matter either way. My father made a choice, and now he's got to live with the consequences. But, Mike, if your father's disappointed, doesn't that mean he'll blame us? I mean, don't get mad at me for saying so, but your father's not a very nice guy when he's angry. Didn't you used to have a brother? You both are making very salient points. 
Those debate lessons are paying off. Nobody ever takes advantage of the community colleges. So what do we do? Well, I don't know. You're the smart one, Mike. Okay. All right. Let me think about this. So you saw nothing? Not a thing? You guys were looking through the camera. All we did was listen to the song. The rest of the day, we just gossiped. I'm pretty sure the crack addict is gay. Are we honestly saying that the biggest crime boss on the planet is really just a musical theater fan? It's preposterous. Yeah, there has to be something else going on. Ben called from the Caymans and said that Big Mike contacted him again. Maybe this has something to do with that. No, 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 no. We've been following that lead for months. This theater's something new, and we have to get to the bottom of it. I am talking to you, Rook. You need to get to the bottom of this, understand? Are you expecting anybody? No. Gregory, Tim! Find some place, get out of here, go! What a surprise! Hey, you always shout out the names of people who show up at your door? Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I do. <laughs> like, hey, the pizza guy's here! It's a little weird. You know, it is a little weird, right? It's a little weird. Yeah, it's a little weird. Nice. Makes me think that maybe, uh, you got someone here. Hmm? Me? No, no, all alone this evening. Just me. <laughs> I don't got anybody here. No, no, all alone. All right. All right, we got an issue. We do? Jack Cosmo. Oh, yeah. Right. Cosmo. He's supposed to be some kind of genius, but all he does is write a lot of crap. And drink. And drink. He's like a drinking machine. And Gregory here is a functional alcoholic, so he would notice these things. My liver looks like a baked potato. Ah. Now look, you're the expert on Jack Cosmo. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Oh, well, I I'm not sure. I mean, he disappeared 10 years ago after the bottle got the better of him and after his wife took off with her daughter. There's a demon at the bottom of every bottle. The daughter, huh? Gregory, didn't you take a semester in psychology? So what do you think? Is the daughter what this guy's problem is? Sure. I mean, I always have trouble beating people up when my kids are mad at me. It's the daughter. I'll tell you what, that's a problem. What we got to do is get the daughter to show up and make nicey nice with the daddy. And then maybe Cosmo will be able to write something that doesn't smell like an enormous pile of crap. Then we can all go to my father's 74th birthday party and not be dead. Capiche? Hey guys, guys, look, I, I don't even know where she lives. Well, you better figure it out or learn how to sing without your toes. You really are all alone here, aren't you? Yep. All alone, just, just my buds. Okay, you win. Here's a 50. You see, I thought for sure we were gonna find you in here with that crack addict. I said no, when I got flawless gator. Bragging, he's always bragging. Now listen to me, you get that daughter or we get you. Got me? Got you. Have a good night. We need to find Sarah Cosmo. Turium apnum sajangun kolpu charashi gechiman. Dadu char he. Hebucha. Hebucha. She might not even be home. Negative, Rook. Heat sensors show that she's in there. 
Wow, look at that heat signature. She's hot. Really? Ben, that you get that, that you get that girl. No, you know what? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna get so sick because I don't want to. Want to? Hi. Hello. Sorry. Hi. Uh, you don't know me, um, but I'm here to talk to you about something really important. When the hell are you Mormons gonna learn? Huh? Thank you very much. Have a nice night. No, no. I'm a friend of your father's. Hmm. Oh, this is delicious. Now, you, you say you mix the leaves yourself? Yeah. Why waste your time with inferior store-bought tea when you can learn to grow and dry your own leaves in three weekends at any Buddhist monastery? Sure. Why are you here? Uh, your dad is writing again. Good for him. No, not so much. How do you know my father? Well, I'm the lead in his new show. <laughs> New show. What did you say your name was? Ethan. Ethan what? Trimble. Never heard of you. Yeah, well, yeah, your dad wanted an unknown to you know, disappear into the character. What's the name of this masterpiece? How Sweet It Is. Terrible title. Well, Ethan Nimble. Trimble. I wish you and my father best of luck. Now, if you will excuse me. Actually, I'd love to tell you a bit more. Okay. Sarah, your dad isn't doing so great. I, I don't think I'll be able to finish this musical without you. Oh, <laughs> okay, I get it. You do? Yeah, this is about you. This is your big break, and if I don't come in and give him a psychic massage or whatever, you don't get your moment being in the big Jack Cosmo comeback production. Sarah, no, seriously, I don't care if I get to perform in this thing or not. No. You know what, maybe you're right. Maybe this is about me. Your dad's work made my childhood tolerable, and I know I'm not alone. And, and I know you're angry with him, and, and you have every right to be. But can't you admit that this whole white world is just a little bit brighter with Jack Cosmo in it? Whole white world? My parents should have named you Opie. It's my middle name. No. No. <laughs> Look, he's trying. Everyone deserves a second chance. Second? Try again. Third. Higher. Okay, he's really trying. Thanks for the tea. Hey. Who is Billy Hannigan's understudy in Three for the Dirt Road? You want the New York cast or the London cast? Conscious. This is exactly how I left him, 10 years ago. 10 years is a long time ago. Jack? <clears throat> Jack? Hey, buddy. Come on, wake up. Got someone here who wants to see you. What'd he say? Nothing. I will leave. My balls are itchy. So, scratch them? What? No, 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 that's what he said. That, look. I'm sorry, he's obviously gone for the night. Oh, I thought we'd get somewhere with this. He's not that far gone. The sobering ritual. Ah, what? Are the you awake? Stop it, wait. Are you sober? Are you sure we should be doing this? Oh. What's the square root of nine? What, 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 the, what, the, what does that? Three, three, it's three. Okay. Three. <coughs> 
It's the way my wife and daughter used to sober me up. <laughs> Sarah. Jack. Hey, so I'm gonna get you two some coffee? I'll take a Fazenda Santa Inez. You can get it at that Brazilian place down in Piermont. Right, Jack? Black. Just black. I called. <sighs> New show. Why? It's complicated. I um, it got inspired. That's great. That's great, Jack. I'm glad you got inspired. But a new play from scratch in what I'm told is a preposterous amount of time. Look at yourself. You smell worse than you look, and you look awful. From what Ethan tells me, you haven't written a single worthy note, and you have an entire company of people depending on you. I can tell you from experience that when people depend on you, they get hurt. Look, um, I have to write. I, uh, I'm gonna go write. I gotta admit, kid, you did good. What are you, what are you doing here? They're right inside. What? Just talking to a couple of mechanics about stuff. For a second, I thought for sure you'd blow your cover. No. But that corny bullshit you came up with, Jack Cosmo made the whole wide world a better place. <laughs> I gotta admit, <laughs> I'm impressed. It's not bullshit, Barry. Whatever you say, Opie. Guess you're more foo-foo than I thought. Hey, don't you have some coffee to get, Rook? <laughs> oh, man, I got oil on my onesie. You have not changed one bit. Yes, I have. I used to drink gin. <laughs> Sarah, I know I have to change. It's hard when you don't have anyone to change for. No, I will not do this. You feel sorry for yourself all you want, but don't drag everyone else down with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do not feel sorry for myself, okay? I feel sorry for you, for all that I put you and your mom through, okay? I'm sorry I screwed up, okay? I'm saying it right here. I am sorry. <sighs> this is hell. I deserve it. Yeah, you do. Can you just be honest with me for once in your life? There were some gambling debts and the head of the five families. Big Mike Cicero? Wants me to write a show for him. If I do, he'll forgive my debts, let me live. If I don't, he'll put me out of my misery. You know, as I say it now, it sounds kind of crazy. Kinda crazy? So, call the police. He'll kill me. Okay, I'd, the FBI? Again, bullet, brain. Still, there's a part of me, you know, that thinks maybe, I'm a silly old man. You better get back to writing. Yeah. Back to writing. Sarah. It is so good to see you again. I, I, I mean, it's really great to see you again. And even if all this ends up with me liquefying in a bag of lye, it was worth it. Just for this. 
You always could turn a phrase. What are you doing? You never read that University of Madrid study on how work environment affects creativity? It was written in Basque. Anyway, it's not a difficult language to learn. I am cleaning up, and then I'm leaving. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow, see how production is going. Maybe. But if I see you take one drink, if I hear one lie, if you place one bet, Fish. Go back to work. Hey. Hi. Hi. Okay. I am back with the coffee. Great. Give it all to Jack. All to Jack. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, this is weird, but like that, you know, that, that Brazilian coffee, that special coffee, it was like $30 a cup. You know, my father had a saying whenever a young unknown complained about having to pay for coffee. Welcome to showbiz, kid. Looking at me now, people wonder how I ever got into this game well it wasn't always me calling out the scenes it took years to build my name before i wrote a page i would clean the stage while the higher ups got the fame with a pat on my back they would smile and say jack welcome to showbiz kid Welcome to showbiz, you cuckoo kid. I kinda disappeared from gambling every now and then. And while nobody in town saw the curtain go down, I know that it will rise again. Now a few of them are thugs and some others may do drugs or fool around with estrogen. Seem perverse, but I'm here to make it work. Welcome to showbiz, kid. That's me, baby. This golden stage Oh, we are swinging now, baby In a few days' time we'll cross that line and we're hoping for a home run Cause opening night's got to be just right Or everything comes undone I gotta make them shiver, I gotta make them quiver yeah. I hope that I'm as good as they all remember yeah. Cause wouldn't you just hate it if no one ever stayed it? Welcome to Showbiz Kid Bottom to the top now Only I could teach you how It ain't time for my final bow Look at what I'm wearing. I am all in white. White is Alfredo sauce. I coordinate my sauces 
with my suits. But Wednesday's usually your rouge suit day, boss. Today's Wednesday. Hey, hey, it's any day I say it is, you got that? Yeah, boss. I wear white on Tuesday. You wear white on Fridays, boss. I wear white on Fridays. I can see that, boss. You know you're working through the weekend, right? Yeah. Michael! We're missing you down here in the Caymans. Ben, hey. Yeah, hey, listen. My plane is making humming noises. I don't fly to the Caymans when my plane is making humming noises. What's wrong with the plane? What am I, a freaking mechanic? How do I know? He says it's gonna be fixed in about a day. Uh, well, um... Yeah, how about... I... Come to you then. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, swing by, that's all right. Great. So... At your office? No, not the office. I want you to come to the theater. We got a big freaking night. We'll do the deal before the show, okay? Splendid. Where yeah. is this theater? I need to... Yeah. I gotta call you back. That'll come right out, boss. I got the magic stick in the other room. Come here. It's ridiculous. Just about everything in this business is, but he's gotta overcome his fears, Gregory. Now, here he comes. You're on, you're on, go, go, go. I don't believe it. It's my dead mother's mole. I've been watching you from the other side. I'm very disappointed. Because I'm not smoking enough crack? Ooh. No, you've been smoking too much crack. You gotta stop. Boo. Stop smoking crack. I, I never thought of that. <laughs> Jody, you're really good with the moves. Can you give me some extra professional dancers to make this thing pop a little bit? Sure, boss. I have a prescription for everything. against your skin as hard as you can. Will you do that for me? Okay, and I'll make you stop. Will you try that? Okay, that's good. glad to have a marquee at all. You know what? We open tomorrow night. Uh, what do you say we celebrate? Oh, yes! How do we expect anyone to come see it? The public doesn't know about it. My father took care of that. How does your father expect to sell any tickets without any radio ads, any print ads, any television commercials? Well, we sold out in five minutes. Like I said, my dad took care of it. Listen, I am all for a celebration. 
just as long as the party tonight does not include any crack. Oh, oh hello? I gotta take this go for Clifton. Well, I don't know about crack, but I thought maybe a little barbecue. Ralph, I love me. Mike, if you don't mind. That's my father's grill, Jack. Well, since he's not using it, I thought maybe we could. Yeah, but if he finds out you stole from him, he'll, uh... Well, maybe he doesn't find out. <laughs> and please remember, this is not a weapon. Funny guy. <laughs> Okay, let's fire it up. Come on. Oh, we'll season the patties. So? How you feel? Well, for the first time in a long time, I don't have an urge to drive into oncoming traffic. <laughs> All right. Is that good? Bad? Good? It's good. Oh, good. I feel good. Thanks, Ethan. For what? For giving me a voice to write for. So, you're gonna need that for your burger. Oh. Thank you. Do you have any idea what time it is? I have a show tomorrow. Hey, Olivier, you're undercover. It's pretend. Now focus. We just got off the line with Ben. The deal is going down tomorrow before the show. Wait, you, you mean the... Operation Foo Foo is over the second our agent meets with Big Mike. What, what about the show? How hard is this to figure out? There isn't going to be a show. You got a problem, Rook? No. Good. Now, uh, go get your beauty sleep. Wouldn't want you to look tired on your big day tomorrow. <laughs> See, Barry, it's not so hard to be nice. You're being sarcastic. It looks like a strip club. How are we supposed to get in? Wonderful party for you. I can see you tomorrow morning already, beaming. I told you not to read my future. Uh. Gentlemen, the condor is in the nest. The condor is in the nest. Where? I think he's saying Big Mike is in the building. Well, why didn't you just say that? I'm talking in code, you tool. Well, now I'm really disappointed. You know how passionate I am about ornithology. Horny what? Would you two please just shut up? Huh? Huh? Yes. Yes. beautiful. Yes. <laughs> scare me? Jitters are normal. Oh, this is my first uh, show. First show. I figured that might be dancing around in your head. Yeah. You know what I think you should do? What? I think you should ask me out. Huh? Is that not something you'd like? No, no, I, you know, I, 
I was, you know, actually, I thought about that. I thought maybe I should ask her out. I thought, but if she doesn't want to go out with me, you know, awkward moment. Just, I, just, I just didn't say anything at that point. Just if you didn't, you said no. You know, people around, and I just can't have that in my life right now. I might not want to go out with you. Right. Right. And you'll only find out if you ask. Right. Should I ask? Mm -hmm. Now, um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, so, would you? <clears throat> like to go, this is now middle school. Would you like to go out with me? I will tell you in two hours. What? You're not worried about the show anymore, are you? No. Get him to a seat and make the deal. If I have to sit through this entire show, I am killing everyone in this place. Ethan, are you even in position? Excuse me, sir. You need to take your seat. The show's about to start. Mm. I don't know why y'all always want to mess with the brother like black people don't watch musicals. Most of the dancers in here is black. I bet you. Because we can dance. Excuse me. Sit down. All right, Jackie Gleason, look at here, man. You need to go back down to the unemployment rural and get a job that fits your weight class. Ushers are little tiny people, children like them little girls. Come on, man. <laughs> you got a pistol on you? Jack, Sarah, look, there's something I need to tell you. Kid, you're supposed to be on stage. Save the big reveals for after the show. No, Sarah, listen. If I don't tell you this now, there's not going to be a show. Fine, what is it? Oh, the short version? I'm an FBI agent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? It's so good. OK, save her for the stage. No, seriously, I'm an FBI agent. They sent me here for Big Mike. Look, he's making a deal with one of our undercover agents, and if that deal happens, then your show... ...doesn't go on. You lied to me? Yes. Yes, you can get mad at me later. Don't tell me what I can get mad at you. Look, 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 I'm trying to make this right. Look, look, look. Look, see that guy over there in the ascot? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jeez. That's our agent. I need you to find a way to get that guy away from Big Mike for the rest of the show. And you can't let that guy... That guy... Oh, and especially that guy get suspicious of what you're doing. They're very... <laughs> so yeah. Hello. Hey, Benny, how you doing? Good. How you? Nice to see you. Good. Move over. Sit down. for this, but now that I got it, I don't want to lose it. I know, I know, which is why I just blew my cover. Believe me, I could lose my job for telling you this. Actually, technically, I could go to jail. <sighs> I screwed everything up. Sarah, you left me because of me. Your mother left me because of me. Now the show's falling apart because of me. Jack, the show is happening because of you. Guys, we need to move right now. You deserve your night, Dad. So. <clears throat> Are we doing this? Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> uh, may I have your attention, please? Ethan, what the hell is going on? We have a very special surprise for one lucky member of tonight's audience. One of you gets to watch the entire production right next to the auteur, the man of the hour, Jack Cosmo himself. See, what did I tell you? Something good is gonna happen today. Better happen for me, I'm gonna kill somebody. Ethan, come in. Will you be quiet? They're announcing the winner. You think it'll be me? And the winning seat number is table three, seat D. Yeah, that was right next to me. Who is the lucky winner? 
My friend Ben over here. All right, Ben, you won. Good for you. I could kill you. Hey, <laughs> just joking. But seriously, I'm imagining that now. You better get out of here. Yeah, um, I don't think you understand. I don't want this. Let's give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. It always goes to the undeserving. With the lotto. Well, leftovers. <laughs> Uh, please sit back and relax. The show will begin in just a few minutes. Ethan. Oh. Jack, I think I'm in love with your daughter. You'd be stupid if you weren't, kid. Come on. We're doing this. Ben, what did you say your last name was? I didn't. Okay, well, Ben, this is Jack Cosmo. Give it to somebody else, okay? Oh, nonsense. Everybody saw you win. If you go back to your seat now, it would look weirdly suspicious, right, Sarah? Yeah, yeah weirdly suspicious. Weirdly. Suspicious. I'd like, I'll give you a quick tour. You just take a look around. You go right back to your seat, okay? Yeah, right back here. All right, All right. Yes. Nice ascot. Stop drinking. No, you should be resting after that nasty fall. What about ben, you come in, report. Ben, come on, you don't get this over. Yeah, that's right. I promise we're gonna let you go as soon as the show is over. Listen to me. You are interfering with an FBI. Can you hear you? Ba -la -la -la. Jackie, it. Jackie, don't worry. We'll handle it. Yeah, we're already wanted by the FBI. <gasps> we are? Well, I know I'd like to be wanted <laughs> by the FBI. Oh, girl, you're so bad. <laughs> and it feels so good. <laughs> Marshmallow? Wait, wait, wait. Candy shop? Jack, this is your candy shop. And it is your building. And it is your fault that we're in this mess. Now, you better figure out a way to pay back Clifton, or we're going to lose the shop. Clifton? Sarah was right. You cannot hold your candy. Sarah? Wait. My Sarah? Please, tell me where she is. Uh... I need to see her. Well, I'll get you a handful of mint jelly beans so she doesn't smell the chocolate on your breath. Ben, come in, report. Ben. Jody, 
We can still do the deal thing. before the that act break, Ben. Where's Candy? Is this an intervention? This is his most personal work yet, Barry. Show some respect. Now I don't have her anymore, and I'm losing myself. Forget this, Christ. I'm gonna go back there myself and see what's happening. When are you gonna grow up? Sarah, wait. What is it, Jack? Jack? Whatever happened to Dad? I, Daddy? I, I mean, I'd even take old man. You're unbelievable. Oh, Sarah, if I said something to hurt you, it wasn't me. I just got here. Just got here? Yes, yes. I, I woke up and I was in this factory and in, in this world where you're standing here talking to me. And it's a dream come true. You have to help me. I don't have to do anything with you. You know why? Uh, no, why? You know why? Oh, what are you doing? She's supposed to be throwing those? No, she's not. You wolf back into my life and just expect me to just forgive you? <sighs> Please don't hit me. <sighs> This is great. Best show ever. Because of this! Oh, uh, well, you, that, yes, well, I, I'm a slob. I'll take a shower. You're an ass. Hey, you watch your mouth. Sarah, wait, please, please, it's not my fault. Please, wait. Your breath reeks of this crap. Well, it's awesome. I mean, seriously, have you tried it? It's like Scotch and Gin had a baby, and that baby had another baby with heroin. Don't. OK. Just don't. Sarah, she wanted to know if it was possible for a person to change. It's Buick Knoxville! <laughs> I can't believe we're here tonight. I couldn't have done this without you. He's in his mouth and lock the door when we go, okay? All right. It's just to me and the show. Come on, girls. I can get up. We gotta get changed. I don't know what you did to get yourself into this pickle, but I know a mole that makes a lot of sense. Jesus. Mm, slight resemblance if you catch it in the right light, but either way, just a mole. One that's on your face, you know, not one that goes in the ground. That would be crazy. But you're not crazy. No. So if you'll just let me go. I... Where is my hat?
Thank you for coming. You're far too kind. But now it's my turn to blow your mind. If we look back centuries, ancient explorers cross the seas, looking for land and endless wealth. But they discovered something else. This type of payday grew on trees and had a kiss of divinity. And pretty soon, the world renowned the cocoa plant sprouting from the ground. But for thousands of years, chocolate has been the same. What a shame. This is why we're gathered here, cause we just changed the game. So sit up straight, eyes on me. You're about to get a taste of history. I hope you brought a change of clothes, cause right here in front of you, beneath your noses, is a breakthrough, quite the prize. It gives you that feeling in your thighs when you crave a crunch, but the wells run dry. The solution is here, and it's bite size. For you, ready to be found once more. So, open your boxes, lick your lips, hold this miracle in your fingertips. It doesn't melt inside your hand, not a smudge, but the time for talk is over. You be the judge of a cosmo. finale's gonna come up, all right? We'll talk after. Just tell me the deal's good. Yeah, the deal's good. Of course it's good. Thank Christ. Now! <sighs> Son of a bitch. You're fed. And you're under arrest. Pop, we gotta get out of here. No, I've been set up. By him, back there. Everybody out of here! <laughs> Stay here. Wait, what are you doing? Where are you guys? 
Hey! It was you, wasn't it, Jack? This is between us. Please, don't hurt anyone. You set me up. Don't even think about lying to me. I just wanted the show to be special. Special? This is the best work you've done in years. I can't wait to see how it ends. But you were working with them. I, I swear to God, Mike. It was I... me, Big Mike. Aim that at me. Well, yeah, listen, you'll be able to buy your way out of it, but not if you kill me in front of everybody. Big Mike, may I call you Big Mike? Not no more now. You gave me my life back, man. Please, don't take it away. All right, consider another scenario. If I kill you now, you go out on top. So I'm sort of doing you a favor. You're welcome. <laughs> my grill. What are you so concerned about a stupid ass grill? Freeze! Who got hit? Jack, the show is beautiful. Beautiful. What, nobody? Son of a bitch. Oh. Whoa, 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 S stay put. We'll get you an ambulance. Oh, no, 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 no. I have been shot <laughs> so much worse than this. Hey, Jack, the shows are gonna be a hit, and I know people. And you're no credit risk, Cosmo. Dad. Hey. You okay? You all right? Oh. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm in one piece. <laughs> okay. Um. How about the finale? Yeah, the audience is gone, baby. You're here. I don't think it's up to me. Yeah, technically we are all witnesses and we have to make statements. See, this is why I don't like working with rookies. Go finish the foo-foo. We can take statements later. Agent Trimble? It's been two hours. It's been two hours, yes. Oh, yes, uh, okay. Well, I, um, I was wondering if you are free this weekend and if you like Korean food. <laughs>
people started a war over a kiss Have braved the coldest winters for moments like this Sometimes all you need to do is try Silhouette 
of what we used to know. Affliction, cold addiction, it snuffed out all the things that helped you grow. Now I've been here for good and for bad, always by your side. But remember the things that you had, can't you see? You have to try, try to take your walls down. Building, the pressure's building. Unfolding like some twisted cabaret You had a bedroom for two And dinner waiting for you It's everything I hope to have someday Factory Sugar and sweetness can ease your mind But family A sense of completeness is hard To the world that I once knew Tonight's the night, old friend Tonight's the night your goes live Which way can I turn? What can I do? I need that old jack to come alive And take the walls down That you created Take a good look around Too lost to be found